Biodegradable plastic. Did you know we use plastic for so many things for example plastic bag water bottle and food container? We saw much plastic all around Earth have you ever thought? What is a plastic? Plastic is like a chain of small units. One of these little units is called a monomer. Each of these little unit or monomer are connected to other monomers forming a long chain. This chain is called polymer. These polymer chains group together and that makes up the plastic. Plastic are usually made from oil. Plastic takes 1000 years or more to break down. What if we could engineer new materials that could break down the plastic easier? Well, the fruits and vegetable break down very easier when they're left out over the time. In fact, they only take three or four weeks to break down. What if we make plastic out of fruits and vegetable? So, today I'm going to make plastic by using kitchen ingredients. You can do this at your home too. So you want a pot, 25 gram of tapioca starch, glycerin, food coloring vinegar and 150 milliliter of tap water. So, first of all you have to take measured tapioca starch and add them into the pot. Make sure to take all the tapioca starch and add all to your pot completely. Then, add 150 milliliter of tap water to the pot and stir it well. Make sure the starch is completely dissolved so stir them well few seconds so you can see that starch does not clumped. So stir them well. Then, add 1 tablespoon of glycerin. You can buy glycerin at grocery store or pharmacy. Add glycerin to the tapioca mixture. Then add few drops of food coloring to the mixture to make very exiting plastic. Next add 1 tablespoon of vinegar to the mixture. Then stir it well in couple of minutes. After the stir you can see the mixture like this dot 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 s or make sure to stir all the ingredients to mix well. So to get the mixture turn into the plastic I am going to add heat. When you doing this at home or on a stool be careful not to touch any hot surface or handle hot liquid directly. Stir the solution continuously only heat and it start to thicken. Raise the heat from low to medium up to high, once mixed to thicken. Allow this solution to boil in medium-high heat. Allow the mixture to cool couple of minutes. Then scoop the mixture on the liquid and spread out. Spread out as you like you can make any kinds of shapes. This is my tapioca bioplastic items which I have made. So now put the items under sun, light it completely dried or wait at least 24 hours or more. I have talked about in all based plastic, but now I am going to talk about tapioca plastic. The dried starch powder is bundle of polymer. I add it to water to loosen water to loosen up those bundles. Some of the starch polymer has branches on it, which make it difficult to form a good plastic. 
I add vinegar to cut off those branches and make a linear polymer called amylose. If I just made plastic from this linear polymer amylose, I would get a very rigid plastic. So I add glycerine to make the plastic more flexible. So, let's see about my tapioca bioplastic. When the plastic completely dry after 24 hours or more, you can pull it off. So, this is how I pull it off my tapioca bioplastic from the lid. This is the result of the plastic that I have tried for two days. So try it out too. So, look at this my bioplastic is very flexible, like polyethylene plastic. Then, I was tested my bioplastic under three types of conditions. Those are, how long does it take to decompose under the soil, and to test how long it takes to dissolve in water, and finally how long it lasts in air to be changed bioplastic. Use starch as my polymer, it is biodegradable. Natural organisms, like bacteria, are capable of breaking down the material into smaller parts. In this case, I take polymer, which is tapioca starch, and break it down into its monomer parts. Sugar are a vital energy source for all living organisms. As a result, many organisms from bacteria to human have enzymes that break starch into simple sugars. The starch polymer is made up of chains of simple sugar, monomers called glucose. The bonds that connect them are called glycosidic bonds. Add enzyme called amylase help break the sugar apart from each other by fitting between two monomers. A water molecule is absorbed in order to break glycosidic bond between two monomers in polymers in a process called hydrolysis. In conclusion, bioplastic is less toxic and does not contain BPA, a hormone disruptor that is often found in traditional plastics. So don't forget to try it out. Thank you. Have a good day.